Well, cleaning up New York's waterways is not an easy job, and the group Billion Oyster Project is hard at work restoring oyster reefs around New York Harbor through public education initiatives. This is a brilliant program, by the way. So joining us now, we're going to tie all this together, is Charlotte Bosch. There's Charlotte right there. Wave Charlotte. There you go. <laughs> From the Billion Oyster Project and Leanne Darlin, co-founder, and I love this because it's a shop local Saturday, of Talia Beer Company. Did I get it anywhere? Correct. Is That's it? good. <laughs> Talia, Talia, yeah. Talia. Which, by the way, is this amazing local company that we want to support. So we want to hear your story. Yeah. So we'll get to the beer in just a moment. But why are oysters so important to the harbor? Can you just talk a little bit about that yeah, to start? So, so oysters, uh, they were a uh, once prevalent species in New York City and in New York Harbor. And so we're trying. Billion Oyster Project is trying to uh, restore this once once native species. So our mission is really to restore one billion oysters to New York Harbor uh, with the help of one million New Yorkers by 2035. Uh, we also have a shell collection program where we collect oyster shells from 65 restaurants in New York City and we reuse those oyster shells as part of our oyster reef uh, restoration work. So we're really trying to engage as many people as we can um, in the process. Didn't we used to pave the streets with shells? Yes. Yeah, it used to be... Uh, you know, hot dog carts used to be oyster oyster carts on the streets of New York City, and um, you know, all rich and poor and all walks of life used to enjoy oysters. And what do they do to the water? Yeah, so oysters are, are filter feeders, so they're actually um, cleaning up the the water as they are you know living and and surviving. Uh, they also help protect against storm surge. Mm -hmm. um, they used to protect our coastlines from um, superstorm superstorms such as Superstorm mm -hmm. Sandy. So um, they protect coastline. They are a keystone species. So they're really bringing back a lot of um, native and, and creating habitat and biodiversity back into our waterways. Is there any? Can you give us a benchmark? How are we doing as far as that billion dollar yes. billion, billion oyster oysters. mark? Yeah. Uh, this past summer, we actually restored our 100 millionth oyster to New York Harbor. So, um, we're so you're really, a tenth of the way there. A tenth of the way there, yeah. By 2035, we'll, we'll be at a billion. And you guys have teamed up. Let me bring you in now, Leanne. You guys are... Time the, to talk beer. Time to talk <laughs> okay, beer. Talking... And like you said, tie this all together. It's Shop Local Saturday. You and your, um, your business partner opened up the first female-owned brewery. Right? Correct. Correct. Yeah, in New York City. Here in New York City. And these are some examples that we have here. And you're a Navy veteran. I right? am. Yes. Thank yeah. you for your service. How can you be a Navy veteran <laughs> when you're 17 years old? You're like a no. kid. No. You're just a kid. Um, late, th late 30s. Where did you serve? Late, the late 30s. Um, I did three years out of Hawaii, spent most of my time on deployments in the Arabian Gulf, and then wow. two years out on, on a ship out of San Diego. Thank well, you so much for your service. Mm -hmm. I think that is so great. Yeah, and tell us a little bit about how you guys, what is the partnership and how did you team up with Billion Oyster Project? Sure, so we've been a fan of what Billion Oyster Project is doing from the start um, and love to collaborate with different organizations in, in New York City. So for this particular beer, we wanted to just bring awareness to their cause. Um, um, and donate about 10% of all the, the sales of this beer to um, Billion Oyster Project. So we created an oyster stout, um, which is essentially, this is a very light bodied dry stout, but we took 100 pounds of oyster shells from the Billion Oyster Project and brewed with them. And it just creates a nice creaminess, a little bit of briny salinity um, for the beer. And so it's very refreshing, but nice and light bodied. I don't know if we can do this. I'm going to get in trouble with Rita, but look at the back of this can. She sells. She. Oh, that's, see, that's, the, that's see, the name of the beer. Um, it, it's 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 she sells seashells, right? Correct. And it is actually made out of oysters. It has a hint of salinity and a yeah. nice aftertaste. Yeah. And this is going to be. Re <laughs> no, this is all right. This is great. And, pack, yeah. and this is going to be a, a debuted. I mean, do we debut beers? That's coming up this Thursday, right? What's the event Thursday? Yeah, so the event this Thursday um, is to really launch the beer and support Billion Oyster Project. So we're really excited to be a part of it. And where is it? And what are the details? It will be uh, in our Cobble Hill Tap Room, so 61 Bergen Street. Um, we're partnering with Little Ram Oyster Farm on Long Island as well. A tasting of six different oysters and five different beers. Wow. Um, a little guided educational flight of both. And a portion of the proceeds will also go to Billion Oyster Project. How are we doing on ticket sales? Is there still room? There's a few tickets left. 
So where do we go? I know we've linked this stuff, but if people are just listening, what's the, is there a simple web? Yep, our website TaleaBeer.com. Look at you. And <laughs> and and you obviously you have many other different types of beer. We do. You you cater towards. We cater towards non-beer bros, although we love beer bros as well. Right. But Tara and I felt like there was really a gap in the market when it came to craft beer speaking to all genders. Um, so we are well known for our fruited sours, but we have everything from light-bodied pilsners to heavily adjuncted stouts, but this one is nice and clean and refreshing. So here's what I like. So we have this thing called Shop Local where we try to support locally owned and operated and managed businesses. Mm -hmm. I just think this is great. Thank First female-owned brewery. How is the beer business? How's th how are things going for you guys? It's good. We're still pretty young. We're about two years in with our own brewery and um, brick-and-mortar tap rooms, but have two now and opening two more in Manhattan this year. Um, so we're excited to keep growing. Then I'm gonna, while I have time, I'm gonna just ask these questions. What would you say to a veteran mm -hmm. who might be struggling or who might be considering opening their own business? What would you say to inspire somebody to try the small business route? I think it's great. It's, it's definitely a transition. I went from the military to a big tech company, so that in, in itself was a move. But just knowing what your passion is and if you want to wake up and report to someone else or work for yourself. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to be an entrepreneur, there are a ton of resources out there like Bunker Labs um, and other city efforts that are designated just to help veteran Veterans, entrepreneurs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, you guys. This yeah, has been great. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, Leanne and Charlie, we appreciate you coming in. Yeah, thank Our you. pleasure. And, and we hope this is a huge success and thank you can you. get and we it. Con con continued success to what yeah, you're doing. Thank you. So important. Very important. For more information on the Billion Oyster Project and the team up with Talea Beer Company, you can head over to our website, <laughs> cbsnewyork.com. And remember each week, CBS 2 News, Saturday morning. We like this. We're going to be highlighting small businesses throughout the tri-state area, showcasing what they have to offer and how they play a part in their community and supporting their efforts to bounce back from the pandemic. And next month, you can either scan the QR code, uh, 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 African-American-owned businesses for Black History Month. So that's going to be fun oh, all next month. Very nice. And thank you for spending part of your Saturday morning with us. I'm Andrea Grimes. I'm John Elliott. <laughs> Stay with CBS 2 for continuing coverage of all of our top stories. Thanks for watching. Have a great Saturday. Go Giants. Yes.